Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about how we can implement the a priori algorithm in RStudio. In my previous video, I've already have explained what's the meaning of association rule mining, what is a priori algorithm, what is the meaning of support, confidence and lift. Let's see how we can implement the same in RStudio. It just consists of three steps. The very first step will be loading the necessary packages, data pre-processing, followed by training a priori on data set and then visualize the results. So let's see. So for, for the first thing, we have to first uh, download a package. I've already have installed the package from the repository. Uh, uh, I'll just be uh, loading this package uh, for you. You can see the package name is, it is A rules. Okay. In case if you don't have this A rules, you have to install with the install.packages in the RStudio. Once you have this package available, we are, we are good to go. Afterwards, we need to do some data pre-processing. For that, first of all, let's load the data. Data is, is available in my uh, D drive. Uh, so I'll be loading it with the help of the same function that we've used in all the videos, read.csv, because the CSV file, and we know that how to uh, load the data with the help of file. Then we can give a path. It's in my D drive right and uh, the, the name of the file is market basket association optimization sorry market basket optimization this is the file name op optimization this is the file name dot csv okay first of all let me show you the data set how it look like this is a data set which i'm gonna use and you can see this is all about the products in the like uh, in the we can say the shopping mart and you can see there is no column names available. These are all of the products starting from the uh, row one. You can see olive oil, cottage cheese, energy drink, tomato juice. So it means there's no, there's no column available. So how we can do that? So for that, we need to use header equal to false in my read.csv function because uh, uh, in every video I've used header equal true, but in this case I have to use header equal to false. Why? Because there is no column name available. Okay. Let's see what we got in data set. In the data set we got, if I press enter, we are having this data available. Okay, this is not the data which, uh, not the format that we used to have in our videos, right? It's it's having a lot of like empty places. You can see there's no column names available, a lot of empty spaces available. So what one of the like uh, important thing we have to note it down here is that this is not the format which a priori will, will take, right? A priori will take the format, it's called sparse metrics. Okay, we have to send the data in a form of sparse matrix. So what is sparse? Sparse meaning is when we have a more number of zeros, when we have a more, uh, we have a more null values available. Okay, this is called sparse. We have to now convert this data set into a sparse matrix. So how we can do that? Okay, for that, we need to load the data uh, in the, we can say with the help of read dot transaction. We have to load it, read dot transactions. This is a like function we're gonna use. And in this case, we have to just uh, uh, specify the uh, file name. It's available in my D drive. So let's let's do that. So here, uh, the very first thing is file. So let's do this file equal to, it's in my D drive. So D then again, the same, uh, we have to give the complete path again. It is uh, market underscore basket optimization. Okay, optimization dot CSV. Okay, done. And now we have to use the separator. The separator in this case, we all know the CSV file, the separator will be comma separator. And then the third parameter we're going to use it. It's called RM dot duplicates. Okay. Because uh, this a priori algorithm will not take uh, any of the uh, like duplicate entries. Sorry, this is not completed yet. That's why we're getting uh, error here. So RM dot duplicates equal to, we have to use true. We are done, I guess. Let's see. Yes, we got it. So you can see now uh, this, this command got executed properly. Let me repeat the thing again. What I'm saying that earlier we used to have the read.csv function through which we were loading a simple CSV file, but for a priori algorithm, it will not take the data in that format because it required data in a form of like sparse metrics. So how we can do that with the help of the uh, this read dot connections function. The sparse meaning is when we have a more null value, zero values. Okay, sparsity. We say na sparsity. In the sparsity meaning is then we are having more zero values, right? So in this case, uh, we are using the simple formula, simple uh, arguments. File equal to the the file location. Sep means separator equal to comma separator. RM dot duplicates meaning is because this a priori algorithm don't allow 
any duplicate entries so we 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 done that we want to remove all the duplicate entries from the from this data set you can see that uh, in this case meaning is the five uh, transactions were having one duplicate entry so we have just done that okay we just have get rid of all the duplicates okay so what how this data set will look like now in this case uh, let's suppose uh, if i talk about this 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 one uh, uh, this one uh, maybe second uh, row it's having burgers meatballs eggs so in this case how this data set is converted now the burgers will have one uh, meat meatballs will have one value eggs will have one value rest all will have zero values meaning is let's suppose we are having almost 200 items in this complete data set so this 200 items will become a 200 columns okay and under that we have to just put one and zeros one means when we have availability of uh, that data item zero meaning is when there is no availability of data items so how to read this data set actually so in this case this is a transaction one in the transaction one the customer has uh, end up buying shrimp almonds avocado in a second uh, transactions the customer end up buying burgers meatballs eggs in third transaction customer only buying buying simple chutney so this is the meaning like so we have just converted this complete uh, items which is 200 plus items into a columns so uh, under that column let's suppose if customer is buying turkey and avocado we have to just place one under turkey one under avocado rest all will be zeros this is the like format that this uh, this a priori algorithm will take right i hope the things are clear so these are nothing but all the transactions these are transaction one this is transaction two third fourth five six in this way we have uh, all this data available so we just converted this data set into the format which is like uh, like suitable for the a priori algorithm which is called this this uh, uh this sparse matrix we can say right so let's go further this is the uh, thing we have already done afterwards you can see the summary now then you the things will be more clear summary of data set okay what we have got in this so summary uh, first it says that in total we are having 7501 rows okay uh, you can see that the transactions uh, is in sparse format i've already told you sparse matrix or sparse format with the 7501 rows and 119 columns what it means i've told you that this 119 columns meaning is these are the items okay and density is 0.0328 means it's a because why they have a lesser density because it's sparse there are more zeros than ones that's why this density is so less right and what's the next point we are getting from this uh, summary that the most frequent items the most frequent items are mineral water it means we have a 1788 uh, frequency of the mineral water 1348 uh, 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 they have a x it means these are more frequency of these items they are it means they are more by, uh, uh, bought by the customers all right so in this case what it means you can see that uh, 1754 customers are only having uh, only buying one product 1358 customers buying two products and only the one person is buying the 20 products okay this is the meaning okay it means minimum value is one and maximum value is 20 20 meaning is in one transaction the customer is uh, buying 20 products but the minimum is one okay this is the like uh, meaning of this complete summary right i hope you must have got some information from this uh, like summary function now moving further let's uh, try to plot the graph then the things will be more clear we can plot the graph with the item frequency item frequency uh, plot we have to use item frequency plot in which we have to just pass the data set and then let's see what's the top uh, some items okay i can go, go with the top n equal to let's suppose i want to see 100 items okay this is uh, very messy let's let's zoom it in okay if i click on this zoom you can see in a properly uh, okay again it's not that proper you can see at the very first point we have a mineral water the middle water has the highest frequency right and uh, you can see mint green tea has a very lower frequency so this is like this is the top frequency okay let, let's let's uh, reduce the items okay it's 100 because 100 is not properly visible let's do it to the 10 and you can see properly now the mineral water has the highest frequency egg second spaghetti third uh, french fries fourth chocolate green tea milk ground beef frozen vegetables pancakes so this is like uh, what we have so far in this data set in which the mineral water is having the highest frequency okay so till this point we have we are set the data pre-processing has been done properly the data has been uh, modified into the sparse format which is uh, which is uh, like acceptable by the a priori algorithm now we have to now apply the uh, a priori algorithm we have to train the a priori algorithm on this data set let's do it so for this i'm going to use define the uh, like my variable called rules and in this case i'm going to use the a priori as my function the a priori will have these parameters data parameter so we have to uh, in this case data will be obviously we will be having a data set as a data second parameter will be parameter 
okay parameter uh, will be in, in the form of list so uh, we already know from the previous video the important uh, important concepts of the a priori is support confidence and list uh, lift sorry so we have to pass here the two parameters which are important one is support okay one is uh, okay let me support okay and other is other will be we have to use its support and next will be confidence okay we have a two parameters which we have to use in this confidence and support okay now what's the value we have to put in okay uh, as i've already have said in the previous video also like it all uh, depends upon your problem statement or your goal what's your goal is what's your problem statement is so we can't like uh, straight away go with any value right so we have to first check out what's your problem statement what's the goal okay then we can set up this support and confidence so now let's suppose uh, now how to set up the support let's suppose we have to just consider uh, if i just ch check out this uh, uh, frequency again let me just run this uh, thing again okay this is the like graph we were having okay in this case you can see if i can just properly check out okay these you can see on the right side these are the those products which is having very lesser support it means they are they are they are uh, they are less preferred by the customers on the left side these are the those items which are more preferred by the customers it means we have to select a threshold value okay uh, like uh, uh, below this or we can say on left side of it we will be having the products with the more support and right side the uh, products will be having a lesser support okay so we have to just check out uh, i have to just decide on one threshold value what should be the minimum support level which we have to consider for this practical all right so now in this case uh, let let's let's take one example uh, scenario here let's suppose if the we are just considering the items which we, which which are been purchased three times a day okay and we, uh, we have to just consider that that example let's suppose so three times a day meaning is so it we if we talk about uh, three times a day means per week it will be 21 3 into 7 21 and we all know the formula of support 3 into 7 21 divided by total number of transaction it is 7501 okay we have seen in the like in the summary call summary function we have a 7501 uh, is a like uh, we can say it's a total uh, the uh, records we are having so uh, it is 21 divided by 7501 so what's a uh, calculation let me use my calculator let's see that uh, what's the answer we are getting so it is 21 divided by 7501 which is 0, 0. 0.00279 okay it is almost as uh, if i can say 0. 0.003 okay so i'll be using here is support is 0. 0.003 again i'm saying that this is not the like value which we have to take every time it's all depends upon your uh, problem statement your what's your goal is so we are just considering that situation in which the uh, the product has been purchased three times a day and if per week it will be 21 20, 21 divided by 7501 which is total number of transactions so it is uh, we got a minimum support and confidence by default minimum is the, the by default is it is 0 0.8 it's already given in the help as well if you can check out the confidence is already given as 0 0.8 so i will be taking it as 0 0.8 okay done let's run this one okay now uh, if i run this uh, this this uh, like statement you can see now we got this uh, result available okay and you can see confidence 0 0.8 and minimum, minimum value 0 0.1 and this support is 0 0.003 but the thing is we have got zero rules generated it means uh, at 80%, the 0 0.8 means 80% of the confidence. It means it is it's showing zero rules. It means we have to modify this. We have to modify this so that the 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 priori can build up some rules. It means this is not good. We have to change this one. Okay, let's change this one. For that, what we can do is we can now change this uh, to the lesser confidence. Okay, in this case, I'm just uh, dividing. I'm just uh, dividing by two. It is 0 0.4. Let's run with that. Okay. Now you can see 281's rule got generated, which is now, which is uh, a good sign. It means we are getting some rule generated now. Okay, uh, we already know from the previous video, I've, I've shown you these steps. The last step is to like sort the data with the, uh, with the decreasing order of the lift. Okay, so we got some rules generated. Okay, now let's let's uh, sort the data with the, visualize the results now by sorting our data with respect to lift. Okay, with the, we can do it with the help of inspect, inspect, then we can sort sorting meaning is we have to sort in decreasing order sort the rules okay sort the rules by lift lift we already know it is uh, the formula i've already shown in the previous video so lift and uh, we only we only require the 
10 rules okay 1 to 10 okay 1 to 10 rules you only require let's see so these are the results we got okay 10 rules okay let me uh, take it properly you can see properly visible okay these are the 10 rules so what it means it meaning is that persons who are buying the mineral water whole wheat pasta whole wheat and pasta they end up they also like the olive oil then confidence is 40 percent it's also good that this have this this makes some sense that the persons are going with some healthy options and spaghetti tomato uh, tomato sauce they also buy the ground beef but in this case, one thing is uh, which I find it's not that good because this chocolate, herb and pepper, uh, the customers who are ending, who are buying this chocolate, herb and pepper also end up also like the ground beef. But thing is this chocolate, uh, we have seen from the graph, has having uh, a very bigger uh, support. Okay, and if, if we can check out this plots properly, the chocolate is at this, it means it's a, one of the... Uh, uh, having more frequency in that items it means obviously this will this will affect it means that's why the chocolate is coming two times because it's having a more support right it's having the uh, higher frequency so it means that we have we can also make some little change in, again in this so that we can get some better results although the results are okay but still we can again modify how we can modify let's try to uh, change the support okay uh, so support in this case we can say now the the uh, instead of saying that the the product which is purchased like three times a day let's see now we, we can increase now the four times a day okay if it's four times a day it means four into uh, again we can the same same calculation four into uh, seven 21 four into seven sorry 28 and divided by 7501 it will be uh, approximately let me calculate the calculator it is uh, almost 0 0.0037 means 0 0.004 and I'm going with the confidence. The confidence again. I'm just changing by two. Again, you can just uh, just play with this data. Okay, uh, let's see it, where you get more gooder uh, like bad uh, good rules. So I'm just going with the 0 0.2. Okay, done. Okay, in this case uh, we are getting 811 rules generated. Okay, and now again inspect the top 10 rules. So we get at this. Okay, so first rule say that the customers who are buying light cream. Uh, light cream also buying also have a probability they buy the chicken the confidence is 29 percent the pasta they will also like uh, buy this product right the pasta and shrimp and all so i hope uh, you must have understood from this short little video that how we can uh, like how we can decide the rules and how the the shopkeeper or this this mall people can place the products accordingly so that their 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 sales can be increased right so in this case uh, i hope uh, you must have understood this concept and you can just play with this support and confidence uh, points or this 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 values keep on just uh, tuning those values so that you get some right results at the end right so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video